Hey there, it's Barrett. Today I'm going to show you how to start your Wix website from scratch, like the very, very beginning, episode one. <laughs> So you've gone to Wix.com, you've set up an account, a free account, and you have said create new site. You've clicked on a button that says create new site. This is where you're going to get to, right here, and I'm going to move myself down. First of all, you are going to be faced with uh, a choice. The first choice is do you want to use Wix, that's the Wix editor or do you want to use Editor X? Editor X is a more advanced editor and it is used by designers. I don't even use it myself. I design in the regular Wix editor. It does great for me. It, it, I really like it. Editor X is, it has more capabilities, but for most uses, in my opinion, it doesn't do anything that I can't already do in the regular editor. And it tends to be buggy from everything I've heard. And so I, if you are not an advanced Wix designer, stay away from it. Just go with the regular editor. So we're going to click on that. And it took a minute. All right, so now it's asking what kind of website are you creating? The reason it's asking these questions is because it's going to present you with templates based on what your answers are. Now, if you are looking to use a template, it might be good to um, fill these out. Say whether you're going to, you know, here, you know, are you a consultant? Are you a technology company portfolio? That sort of thing. And you can get, you know, narrowed down on the thousands of templates that are on offer here, or maybe hundreds, I don't know if it's actually thousands, but anyway, you get the idea. Um, but I want you to start on a blank template, so we don't need any of this. So we're going to go down here to skip, which is in my YouTube videos, there's a B on top of this, the letter B, but uh, you can see the skip too. All right, so what do you want to call your website? And you can put something here or not right now. It doesn't really matter. So we're going to skip that too. What do you want to add to your website? Common things right here are, you know, a blog or a chat button. But again, you can add all these things afterwards. You don't have to add them at this time. So I'm going to go skip. So create any website with the Wix editor or Editor X or Wix ADI. ADI is Artificial Design Intelligence and Wix asks you a few questions. It'll ask you what your business name is, what your business is about. It'll give you places to put content in. It'll, you know, a logo and pictures and things like that. Then the ADI wizard creates a website for you. I don't recommend those either. I've never seen one that I thought was attractive. They're very boxy. They're very, they look soulless to me, which is what they are. You know, um, you know, uh, they're machine built and they kind of feel that way too. They don't feel like a human made them. So I would totally stay away from there. And a lot of people, they go in and they build the Wix ADI site and then they have no idea how to edit it or how to use it or how to change anything on it after they build it. So again, I'd stay away from that. So let's stay away from Editor X. Let's stay away from ADI. Let's go into the regular editor and click Start Now. And you're going to go up here. Here are all the templates they're going to try to get you to use. Why don't you want to use a template? I don't like to use templates and I don't suggest you do either because the template was built by a human. It was built by somebody else. It has all their design elements on it. You know, they've built on strips. They put a strip on top of a strip. They put, you know, um, you know, they've chosen the fonts. They've chosen the colors. They've Everything's already in there. And to customize the site for you, you're going to spend a lot of time undoing 
what they did and trying to figure out what they did. If you start from scratch from a blank screen, everything you put on there, you're going to know what you did and how you did it and where it is and you're not going to have to undo anything. You know, we're going to start with your colors. We're going to start with your fonts. Everything's going to be yours. So that's why I suggest starting with the blank templates. So up here in blank templates, we're going to click on that. These other blank templates, which are not blank in my opinion, do they look blank to you? They all have layouts on them. So they are suggesting that you, you know, add a title here and add a picture here and that sort of thing. So they're just like templates. If you ask me, they're just got have placeholders and placeholder text and instead of the fake, you know, or the images in the other templates It's the same thing. So we're going to this scary big white box here that is really, really blank. And we're going to click on that. And there you are. You are now in the blank template. You'll go to my next video, which I'll put a link for down below. And you're going to learn about how to get around this editor and all about how to add things, what all these buttons over here mean. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Thanks so much for watching. This video is one of a series teaching the very basics of how to build your Wix website, little bite by little bite. Subscribe to my channel for more and check down below where I've put links for any other videos in this series that we've done so far. There will be more coming, so stay tuned.